Do you use Typeform to capture data but want a better way to monetize responses? If so, keep watching this short video. Typeform is perfect for building custom forms, embedding them anywhere online, collecting data, and tons more. But how can we keep contacts engaged after capturing their information? Well, today, we'll explain how Typeform users are growing their brands by converting contacts into lifelong subscribers. And spoiler alert, anyone can do this. But before diving in, please take a quick moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. We always appreciate your support. So how do we turn Typeform responses into diehard brand advocates? Well, the answer is simple. You see, you can actually create long-term relationships by automatically adding Typeform contacts into your own member community website. Now, this is the most effective way to keep users permanently connected with your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, you can start an online community around your brand. You can allow your contacts to have profiles and interact with each other. And you can monetize contacts with recurring payments. And best of all, you can show off the size of the brand that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun stuff. Sending your tight form contacts into your Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind that this will also work with other integration platforms like Pabbly, Integrately, and more. All right, so here we are inside of a simple form that I've created inside of Typeform. Now, the key benefits of Typeform are that we can embed this form anywhere on the internet, our website and so forth. And we can also ask as many questions as needed to collect the relevant information that we are after, okay? So in this example video, what we're gonna do here is we are going to fill out this Typeform with our contact information. And then we're gonna automatically create a brand new user profile in our brand's member community website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And here I have an example. This here is our public website where we can see just over 100 different members inside of our member community, okay? So let's go ahead and set this up. The very first thing that we're gonna do here is we are going to log into Zapier over here Okay, and then once we're logged in, we are going to create a zap. And once that loads up, the trigger is actually going to be type form. So we're going to search for that and click on type form. And then for the event, it's going to be a new entry, which is our only option. And we're going to click on continue. Next up for our account, we're going to click on choose account. And my account is already connected, but we're going to go ahead and connect a new account. And once we do that, it's gonna open up this pop-up window. And since we're already logged into Typeform, it's already connected me and I just have to click on accept. And that's gonna link the two together. If you are not logged into Typeform, when you click on connect a new account, it's gonna ask you to log in with your Typeform information. And then once you log in, it will bring you to this screen here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on accept. And once I do that, we can see that we now have our Typeform connected. So now we can click on continue and then for our trigger, we're gonna choose the form that we created. In my case, it's the new user signup form. And then we're gonna click on continue. Then we can go ahead and do a test here just to make sure that it's pulling in the submissions for our form. We can see that it is. So we're gonna continue with the selected record. There we go, perfect. Now we need to set up our action. Now our action is going to be brilliant directories. So we're gonna search for brilliant directories here and select it. Then for the event, we are going to create a new user and then we're going to click on continue. Next up for our account, we're going to go to choose and then we are going to connect a new account. And again, that's going to open up this pop-up window over here. And once this loads up, it's going to ask us for a website URL and an API key. Now for the API key, we can see that we have a hyperlink here for the API details. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And that's going to redirect us to our Brilliant Directories website to the API screen that we need to go to. And once we're here, we can click on generate API key at the top right. And that's gonna open this up here. We need to enter a nickname. I'm just gonna call mine type form and we'll call it Zapier. And then we're gonna save the API key. And then once we save it, it's gonna create it for us and we can go ahead and copy it right here. And then we're gonna close out of that window. And now we're gonna head back to our pop-up and inside of our pop-up, we can paste in that API key. Now, next, we need our website URL. So we're actually gonna go back to the same screen here. And at the top right, you'll see visit website, an orange button. We're gonna click on that. And that's gonna open up our website URL for us. And we can simply copy 
and then head back over here and paste it in. Now, it's important to note that the website URL only wants up to the .com. They do not want the trailing slash. So I have slash home here. We can go ahead and delete that. We only want up to .com. And then we click on yes, continue to brilliant directories. Now, once we do that, and once that's connected, we can actually head back over here to Zapier. And we should see it connected for us. Perfect. So now we can click on continue. And now it's time to set up the action for brilliant directories. Now here we are just going to be mapping together the data that we are collecting inside of Typeform. So in our case, we are collecting their email. So I'll click inside of email and then I want to collect the email address. So I'm going to scroll down here. I see the email. Perfect. Perfect. And then once we have that, the next thing that I'm collecting is their phone number. So I'll go down here to phone number, click inside the box and I will scroll down until I see the phone number and select it. Perfect. And then we'll do the last name as well. Now, it's important to note that if you are collecting a lot of different information, you can actually search here for the field that you are looking for. So we have our last name. I'll select it there. And then we'll do the first name as well. And I'm going to search for name inside of this here. And we have our first name. Perfect. Now, you can map together any data that you are collecting. Maybe you are collecting their address or their zip code or other information. You can map it all together just like that. And then once you have it all mapped together, you want to scroll to the very bottom and click on continue. All right. And once we click on continue, we can now test the action just to make sure it's working. So they're going to send a user to brilliant directories just to make sure the connection is working. And we can see a user was sent successfully. So now we can publish this zap and now it's live and it's ready to go. So now what I want to do is I want to test it just to make sure that it's working. Okay. So we are going to head over here to our form that we have here and we're going to fill out this information and see if it works. So it says, hello, what is your first name? We're going to say Jacob. And then for our last name, we're going to say Wilson, Jacob Wilson. And we're going to enter that. We're going to do a fake phone number. We'll go to the next one. Jacob Wilson at gmail.com. And we will submit that as well. And it says, success. Thanks for joining the community. Now, if our Zapier is working correctly, Jacob Wilson should now be inside of our member community. So I'm going to head back over here and we are going to simply refresh this. And just like that, we can see Jacob Wilson has been added and even the phone number that we linked together has been added as well. Absolutely brilliant. And there we have it. This is a must have integration that every Typeform user should set up. So if you are ready to turn Typeform contacts into lifelong subscribers, click the free trial link in the description below. You'll get instant access to start your own membership website. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and we look forward to helping you in our next video. Thanks for watching.